What's up everybody, my name is Chris M. Walker. Now, if you're trying to rank for competitive keywords, but don't wanna spend months and months and months building your authority, cranking out content, putting out building links, doing all of that, all that tedious, expensive, time-consuming SEO stuff, Parasite SEO is your answer. What we're gonna be doing is using high authority platforms that already have Google's trust, and I'll show you exactly how to find the right keywords, create optimized content, and get it indexed fast. And the best part is you can start implementing this today with very little to zero investment. And what is Parasite SEO? Think about what the term parasite means. It means organism that lives off another organism and gets its life force from it. And it's the same thing with SEO. So normally you think of SEO, you think of creating your own site and then putting out a bunch of content, building a bunch of links and getting it to rank that way. What we're doing with Parasite SEO is leveraging high domain authority platforms like LinkedIn, Medium, Reddit, and so on that already have trust, that already have authority and are favored heavily by Google so that we can take advantage of that and skip all that other stuff and rank nearly instantly because of how powerful that site is. Uh, I already showed you a couple of examples, but you can check them out again. You can see here's a Forbes that's ranking page one. You can see a LinkedIn, a Quora, another LinkedIn, YouTube, Reddit, all of this ranking page one, another Reddit for Legit versus Fiverr. You can see there's a medium ranking on Legit Review and so on. And I show those because they're examples of sites that benefiting from. So those are real examples of real parasite rankings, but it can be for any term you can think of. If you want to search for, let's say, best CBD dummies, this is one I just happen to know. Houstonia Mag is a parasite. That's not somebody's website about that. That. If, you, if we keep scrolling, there are probably more. No, actually not not too many this time. There you go, Reddit, Quora, Medical News Today. I believe that's a parasite. There's lots and lots of options to get parasite SEO for extremely competitive terms in literally any niche. And it works really well for local SEO as well. So there's a few different tools that you're gonna wanna use to do proper parasite SEO. Now, for the most part, these are optional, but highly recommended. Okay, so you need a tool for keyword research. You need a, a tool that will help you know if your keyword is a good opportunity for Parasite SEO. You need a way to generate content. And if you want, don't want to wait, you can use a tool to get your indexing done faster or a service to get your indexing done faster. Uh, for keyword research, I like SEMrush. It's a pretty standard tool for for that. It's, uh, it's a fairly expensive tool. It's a tool that you can use to find a bunch of keywords in your niche, your industry, your site that have the potential to rank for Parasite keywords. You need a way to generate content. Obviously, you can write it yourself if you want, or you can hire a writer on a legit, or you can use a tool like cuppa.ai uh, to generate the content for you. Lots of other AI content writers out there. There's some services on legit for that as well. Uh, and then to find if your tool, if your uh, keyword is a good fit for Parasite SEO, I suggest you check out parasiteseo.com. And by the way, all these tools will be linked in the description and in the comments. But this is a great one that actually helps you go through and gives you information about your keyword on whether it is a good opportunity or not for Parasite SEO. It shows you what parasites are already ranking. And it also suggests different op options for you for sites to rank as parasite sites, both free and paid. For indexing, you can use a tool like this one, um, indexmenow.com, or you can use a, this service or you can use a service from this freelancer on Legit who's really, really good at getting your links indexed as well. And if you need a cheaper keyword research tool, just use something like Keywords Everywhere. You don't have to use Parasite SEO to, to do this. This is just something to make it easier. You can just uh, try different sites. Uh, for Cuppa, you can obviously just hire a writer to do it yourself, or you can even use uh, some of the AI services that we have on here. And indexing, you can just wait, or you can use one of these services. So there's a lot of different options available to do for the tools. So don't get hung up on the tools. Just use the ones that are there. And most importantly, get started. All right, so let's look at an actual example. Uh, I'm gonna show you two different ways to do the keyword research, and then I'm gonna show you the cheapest ways I can find to do the other things that we mentioned. So I'm, I have a, let's well, actually a fake site, but it's a site in the in-ground pool installation industry. Uh, and so what I did was I came over to the keyword magic tool in SEMrush, and I put that in, and I'm just gonna look for a high volume, low difficulty term. Uh, that, make, that makes sense. 
So we're looking in this column for high volume and low difficulty. See, here's a super low difficulty. In-ground pool with auto cover pool form install. That's a really long term. Let's see if we can find something a little better. Spec for a semi in-ground steel wall pool install. That's not great either. Steel wall pool in-ground installation. That's a good one. So uh, we, if we wanted to do that che eat cheaper, we could search for in-ground pool installation, get the keywords everywhere extension, which will put a lot of different information in your, uh, your Google search here. And you'll notice that it'll show you a bunch of different options as well. I don't find its keyword uh, volumes to be as accurate, but it's a lot cheaper. So if you're on a budget, you can certainly go with this too. But for now, we're going to go with steel wall pool in-ground installation. Now, that's to me sounds like a nonsense keyword because I don't know much about in-ground pools, but I do know it's a lucrative niche and there's a lot of volume there and it's a really easy keyword. So the next thing we need is some content. Now, I already showed jacupa.sh, but I'm going to show you this instead. This is rankedprompt.pro and you can get this on legit for six bucks. And I'll show you, uh, I'll leave that service in the description as well. But we're going to put in the topic and the persona is an expert on in-ground pool installation. Uh, we'll call it a blog post. Primary keyword is this, word count. Uh, now this is interesting. What I would recommend to figure this out is just come over here to audit.io, which, you know, full disclosure is also a tool that I own, but you get a free, a few free searches if you sign up for a free account. So you don't have to pay for anything if you don't want to. But you can just put this in here and click search. What this is going to do is going to go, go out and look at the Google, uh, the Google results for this page already. And it's going to tell you the optimal amount of keywords, among other things. And it takes, you know, a minute or two to search that out. All right, we're back. And what this has done is gone out and shown you the top results for uh, what of the, the results of what's ranking in Google one through 20 for the term that we chose steel wall pool in ground installation. And it's going to show you the total word count and a bunch of other factors. And it's going to give you a little bit of an idea of if parasites are ranking for this term or not. And it looks like there's a couple in here. There's a couple of YouTubes and there's a couple of these that I suspect like this one that are parasites as well. So this eliminates, the, I don't want to say it eliminates the need, but it's a cheap alternative to ParasiteSEO.com. Anyhow, what we're interested in right now is the averages. So the total word, average total words is 1,500 words. That's the main thing we're looking for. So we're going to come back over here, change this to 1,500, and the tone can be whatever you want. Let's go with authoritative, and then we're going to put in our term again. And after this, we need to put a comma because that puts it down there. Uh, business name is optional location. We'll just put USA and we're going to generate a prompt. Now, what this is going to do is generate a chat GPT prompt that you can use to generate your content. So then you're going to copy that to the clipboard and you're going to come over to chat GPT and you're going to paste that in. And you're going to uh, chat, I guess, answer in chat instead. Oh, look at that. That's new. It's going to make it as an actual article for you as well. I've not seen it do it that way before. That's interesting. And now the great thing about this is it's going to give you all the metadata. It's going to give you a, lot, a well formatted article and a lot of opportunity. Oh, and also this will pass. Uh, if you put this in the Hemingway app, this will be written on a, a low grade level. So it'll be easy to understand for your users as well. And it passes AI detection. So this is a great uh, way to generate content quickly. Now it doesn't work. If you need to do content in bulk, you're going to have to use something like Kappa, but for our purposes today, this is going to work. Now, uh, the other thing we can do is say, give me a featured image for, for this post to use on Medium. Oh, I'm, I've not seen it do it that way before. I guess we have to put that over here. That's So what that's going to do is just generate a featured image. Now, this is AI images. They're not going to be the greatest, but it won't be bad. And there's lots of other AI image generation tools you can use. And I think that's probably good enough. All right. So we could post this on Medium, on LinkedIn, on lots of different sites that have that are free, WordPress.com, and so on. I think for this example, we're going to go with Medium, though. Now, 
fair warning, lately medium posts have been a little bit harder to get indexed, uh, but it can still be done. So we're gonna write, click write, gonna copy the title. Everything is a comprehensive guide with AI content. I am just gonna put, we're just gonna copy everything over. Hopefully the formatting stays fairly well. Let's put in the image and then we're gonna put in our article and hope that it uh, stays formatted nicely. And then you're gonna wanna go through and clean this up. It doesn't do well with bullets, I don't know why. And then you may be wondering how would you uh, use an article, how would you monetize an article like this? Uh, presumably this is for a real website, like a real business, or for like a lead gen slash rank and rent business. So you would just add a call to action at the beginning. Something better than this, but you know, and then just put in a link. Again, something better than that, but you get the idea. And then we're going to publish. And for this, we're going to put in our meta description. And topic can be whatever. I like to put in the keyword. It's pretty unlikely that that makes any difference, but you never know. All right, that's good enough. And then we're going to publish now. Now, like I said, medium posts have been taking a long time to index and difficult to get indexed. Uh, so what I like to do is, for cheapness sake, I like to use this service. Uh, you can use tools like Index Me Now or Speedy Indexer or Omega Indexer or whatever, but uh, they're expensive. And if you don't do a lot, then you don't need it. So I'm just going to use this one. This guy's name is Keith, obviously. Does a great job. Good friend of mine. Click continue to check out. Confirm and pay. View transaction details. You don't need me to say everything, but submit requirements. And just stick this in here. And this should get done in a day or two, and then that will get indexed. And most likely, it will rank for that term. So that's pretty much the workflow. Uh, use either SEMrush, Keywords Everywhere, or whatever your favorite keyword research tool is to generate content or to uh, get keywords. You use a tool like RankPrompt.pro or Kappa.sh or just ChatGPT if you want to be lazy to generate your content. You post it on Medium or LinkedIn or Reddit or whatever uh, you think it is. You use, well, you use audit. First, you use audit.io to see if it ranks parasites and get how much, con how many words the content needs to be. Or you can use Parasite SEO to figure out if it's a good, if it's a good fit for Parasite. You post it and then you can either wait for it to get indexed or you can use this service to get it indexed. Now, if you want to get really fancy, there's other stuff you can do. You can take your post and post on all the platforms, all the free ones, all the paid ones, and so on. Um, there are a lot of paid ones, and that's where a tool like uh, Parasite SEO here really excels. It'll show you the different opportunities for Parasite, either all or free or paid, and it will show you some of the best ones over here. New York Post, which is paid, Chicago Tribune, Vogue India, Reddit, and so on. And some of these you can actually get through legit as well. So you can just come up to legit and I don't know if this is going to be there. Yeah, you can come over here and look for services that offer the particular parasite that is needed according to Parasite SEO. Now, again, not all of these are going to be available, but you know, these that's one place you can get get them or you can just try to contact them directly and just find the, the best free and paid ones. I suggest doing all the free ones and as many of the paid ones as it makes sense for you to do based on your budget and how valuable it is for you. That's pretty much it. Then all you have to do is, is wait for them to get indexed and then go see how they rank and take advantage of the sales that'll get you. A lot of times they'll rank page one all on their own. If not, you can just throw some PBN links or something at them to get them to rank even further. But it's really just keyword research, parasite research, content, post, index. It couldn't be simpler than that. So that's pretty much it. Uh, now, what I'd like for you to do is drop a comment below if you have any questions because about Parasite SEO, because I know this is a lot. So I personally respond to every question. If you're ready to take your SEO game to the next level, check out legit.com. We got a lot of great stuff there, a lot of great training, tools, software, tracking, everything you need. So that's it, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.